The Impact Lounge is the number one place to be for the real Impact Wrestling fans. What's up, what's up? It is your boy BQ here, checking in for the Impact Lounge. If you are an Impact Wrestling fan and you are not subscribed to the Lounge, it is punishable by death. So go ahead and hit that button for me. So details have emerged. This is uh, via PWI about the meeting that Impact Wrestling had with WWE. Now, I didn't say anything when the initial news came out because I really didn't know what to think of it. And even though there might be some individuals I might talk to within the company, when it comes to that level, I have no, no connection up there whatsoever. I just want to make that very, very clear. So it was all speculation. Most people speculated it had to do with the Hall of Fame. You know, maybe something, maybe that is something that comes into play later down the line. But what it seems to be is that Impact has interest in trying to get some of their content on the WWE network. Obviously, they have done business with WWE in the past to license Hardy Boys and AJ Styles content to the network. And I'm sure they were paid very well for that. So who knows what it is they would like to get on the network. I don't think it's, you know, episodes of impact by any stretch. I think it would have to do with the AJ Styles DVD set, Sting DVD set, Eric Young, Samoa Joe, Bobby Roode. Um, there's another one on the, I don't know if I said angle yet. So I think it has to do with some of the DVD sets. If I had to take a guess, I honestly have no idea. But it seems that the company is still losing money. Now, we know that they're making about a million a year from the UK, seven million a year from India. They're obviously doing the house shows and 90% of them have sold out. Redemption sold out. Slammiversary sold out. I believe Bound for Glory did last year. Bound for Glory is this year. And then YouTube, from what I believe they make about a million a year on. And there's also the Twitch deal, which is going to be a smaller deal. And then the Global Wrestling Network. Even those who sign up for the free network, there's going to be ads to where they're going to receive something off that too. I think they have a badge on Google Play for 50,000 downloads on the Global Wrestling Network. So I know they've surpassed that number. Who knows what it really is? I've spoken ad nauseum about the way that they present the network and how and what they are choosing to promote on it. I think many of us thought it was going to be a WWE Network style of content, but it's basically, hey, we're trying to monetize the library. We're going to focus on AJ and all these dudes. Now, all this being said, they don't make a whole lot from Pop TV. So you have to sit and wonder, what is it exactly causing them to lose money? If I had to take a guess, it has to mainly do with logistical costs and camera crew as well. Things of that nature. Many of the stars are paid very, very well. There are still some salary deals being paid out. They're obviously looking to pay Pentagon Jr. and Phoenix a lot more. So we'll never really know exactly what the costs are, but it seems like they are still losing money. So so trying to get some of their content on the network, on the WWE network that is, does make some sense. I would imagine they're going to have interest in it. So hopefully this is something that, that happens. And for them to work closely with the company, us as hardcore Impact fans, we can hate WWE all we want. Many of you do still like them, but at the end of the day, business wise if they're able to get on the same page with them even if it's a little bit even if it's baby steps forward that's a really good thing for the company we know a lot of that fan base has and I, i'm not trying to offend anybody with this this comment so please take it with a grain of salt but we know a lot of the fan base has a very sheep mentality of whatever they're doing we're gonna follow and we're gonna like it i mean you can look at drew galloway ec3 hardy's you know WWE rejects washed up and then you know a year later oh hoorah you know what I'm saying you you get where I'm going with it so by association it could be a very positive thing for impact now there's been a lot of positive news coming out of the impact tapings in Mexico where morale was said to be the highest it's been in a long long time even some of the wrestlers who even some of the wrestlers who are contracted to get their own hotel rooms went ahead and shared with some of the other stars to help the company cut costs. So it's said to be a really, really positive and bonding experience for the roster. We'll see what happens next. I really wouldn't be surprised if we do see some kind of content going forward. I know that in the past, WWE has put out feelers, surveys, saying what kind of content do you want? And they always had TNA Impact Wrestling on there. So I think this really can be a win-win scenario. And hopefully it works out because maybe this is one of the things that's going to help impact 
go over the top a little bit to where they're not, you know, not so much losing cost. And, uh, you know, obviously a better TV deal needs to come into play because it doesn't matter what the ratings are. You know, they're still going to get the same thing from Pop TV, basically. So let's wait to see what happens further. But it does look like it has nothing to do with the Hall of Fame, more so about the content and how Impact can continue to monetize that content. That's obviously what the GWN is focused on, monetizing the library content. If you ask me, if they put a little bit more focus on the current wrestlers in the company, I think you would see more subscriptions with the GWN. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and for more from the Impact Lounge, check out the videos below.